Hey everybody in Cricut World out there. I just wanted to do a quick video on my photo props and cupcake toppers that I made. So I don't want to show you all that yet. I want to go through this first. <laughs> so these are cupcake toppers that I made um, with my Cricut. And I found all these images um, by doing a search on Google. And so I just did a, a simple Google search for crown. And this is what came up. And um, when you're cutting these, oh, that one may not be a good example. Hmm. Um, when you're cutting these, make sure that when, if you do both sides and you want a clean, finished image like I've done here, uh, you can see that the crown is not symmetrical um, here and here. So when you do the crowns or if you cut an image and you think it is symmetrical they, it's usually not so you'll want to do one side first and then mirror the image and do the other side so it fits perfectly um, so these little sticks I found at Hobby Lobby and um, I thought these would fit much better than some toothpicks because there's icing on the cupcakes and that stands up pretty tall so I figured that uh, these sticks would be perfect for this and especially they're flat too so that even helps a lot more so those are the cupcake toppers really pretty um, this paper is actually paper studio I found it at Hobby Lobby I have not tried the Cricut glitter cardstock yet um, I think Melody Lane bought it all <laughs> She did a tour of her house the other day, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and everything is so organized and beautiful. It's like a crafter's uh, dream, so I saw it on YouTube the other day, and it was just wow, and she showed the Cricut glitter cardstock, and she does have a ton of it, <laughs> So, and she's a Cricut expert, so if you don't know who she is, um, check her out here on YouTube. And then I did some mustaches for the boys. And yes, it's glitter, but it's a princess birthday, but it's still a mustache. <laughs> and I found these sticks, these little flat popsicle looking sticks on Etsy. And I know photo props are usually done with dowels, but they're round. And I figured if I'm going to put two pieces of paper together, um, the flat sticks would fit much better. And then I found this paint. Uh, the Martha Stewart, uh, what does it say, soft gel watercolor. Sorry guys, I'm recording this on an old Samsung Note phone. I know, it's just so dinosaur, I need to upgrade. Um, definitely can't do another Note, but um, that's besides the case. So this is really pretty, it's a, it's a baby pink, and this is the exact color I was looking for, so I was happy when I found it. And then here is the princess crown. The princess's crown looks blurry so so pink on one side and gold on the other side this right here is the very last thing that I made and as you can tell it's not decorated by this point I was like you know what I had enough I don't want to do any more I did enough <laughs> here's a little top hat I found this also by doing a search for clip art and I did the happy birthday in pink and then I did it in the gold as well and I did another one so I did multiples I did two pretty much of everything um, and I did do double size on everything as well here is a larger crown for the adults I think this one is a little too big but I mean it's still pretty and it's got happy birthday Eliana on it and then I did these glasses with this shiny paper in between those are pretty cool. I like those. I know the boys would probably like that. Um, and here's some lips. I don't know what kind of paper this is, but it doesn't have the full glitter like everything else has. But I love this paper. It's so pretty, and it's got the iridescent glitter on there, too. So I did two sets of those. I have two sets of red shiny lips. Um, I also did these glasses here. These are pretty cool. There's my favorite paper again. Really pretty. And I finished everything off. And again, um, like I said, if these aren't usually symmetrical, so you'll want to cut 
a whole bunch on one side first and then mirror the image and do the other side so they fit nice and, and clean on both sides. I made a mistake when I cut this and I'm like, oh, maybe it'll still work. It didn't fit. It didn't fit right, so then I had to cut it again. So make sure you mirror your images if you have, um, if you want to do something that's both sides like that, so then it's it's a nice clean finish on both sides. And then it fits perfectly. And this is my favorite, my absolute favorite, the Diva. So initially, when I thought about doing both sides, it was with these that I said, you know what, let me finish it on the other side because I tried to do a selfie, and it was backwards. <laughs> so that's what gave me the idea to finish the other side because if you do a selfie, you have to do it one way, and if you do a front-facing camera with somebody else taking a picture of you, it has to be the other way. So that's what gave me the idea to finish both sides, and I said, you know what, I'll just do it for everything. Which was, you know, time consuming, but it looks gorgeous and I know everybody will enjoy it. And then here's these lips. And again, this is everything that I found all this on Google. And then, of course, the little speech bubble. I love my little Eliana, my baby cousin. We call her Ellie. So this is super cute. I love this. Um... And the sticks I found on Etsy, you know, they're nice and flat, and I think everything turned out beautiful. It was a lot of work, but it's worth it, you know. Um, so, yeah, pretty simple. The Diva ones, I saw something similar like this for a wedding one. However, I couldn't actually find this image, so I found the sunglasses um, online, and then I found a font that I had already and so I just welded the two pieces together I love that one so yeah there's the photo prop super easy super fun and super uh, glittery so I think everybody will enjoy it thanks for watching